Yeah, we're dancing. We look like a couple of Muppets sitting over here. Hello, welcome to Bid Nerds, your daily nerd out of the most interesting car of the day from all the automotive enthusiast auction sites. Michael Deeb over there smashing that like button, which is something you should be doing right now uh, because they haven't already. Or subscribe, smash the smash button, whatever. How many buttons do you got to smash? Hit, smash all the buttons. Whatever the kids say, smash them. Um, what do we do on this channel? We find the most interesting car of the day from all the automotive enthusiast auction sites like Peak Car Market, Bring a Trailer, Cars and Bids and more. Uh, we talk about that car, have a little conversation about it. Uh, we make a prediction as to what we think that car will sell for at the end of its auction. And then we will go into the future at the end of the episode and tell you exactly what happened with that auction. Uh, play along with us and uh, give us, uh, in the comments below, let us know what you think this car will sell for at the end of the auction. Uh, and you'll see if uh, you're any better at, it, at this uh, than we are. You probably are because we're not very good at it, even though we've been doing it for a while now. Um, so yeah, spread the word, share this video, spread the word, share a nerd, something like that. Grow the herd, I don't know. We've got phrases that we can't remember. Michael Deeb. Uh, you know, I'm going to put your name up on the screen because we're supposed to do that, right? Woo! That's yeah, Michael Lee. He's my partner. That's He's me. in San Francisco. Yeah. And my name is John Pollock. Yeah. I'm uh, in the Container Park in downtown Las Vegas. All right, Michael Deeb, let's get to the most interesting car of the day. What do we got? All right, JP, listen, you and I are dyed-in-the-wool Porsche heads. We love all things air-cooled and rear engine. Um, but as I've confessed many times before, my upbringing with my dad uh, was on all really cool 60s and 70s Italian cars. Now, we never owned one of these, but I have driven one uh, on a couple of occasions. What we're talking about is a 1967 Lancia Fulvia Sport Zagato 1.3S. Uh, offered on Bring a Trailer out of Alamo, California. It's showing 96,000 kilometers, but it's true mileage unknown. Um, what you know as a Porsche guy, every Porsche guy in the world would love to drive this car. I don't know how to explain it to you. Nothing about this car makes any sense to me. But having driven one, just a basic one, it is unbelievably fun. I would sort of liken it to the way when you drive a 914, you go, damn, those cars are really fun to drive. This car has that same sort of smiles per mile. What we're talking about is like a 2100 pound, two plus two coupe that has a very narrow angle, very narrow angle V4 in the front, driving the front wheels, and it's got a live rear axle, like the, the live rear axle doesn't even have any independent suspension in the back. But these cars rev John and they're really easy to shift and they're super responsive to steer. They're incredibly fun driving cars. And I know you're you're dying back there, coughing up a storm, but one of these days I'm gonna get you behind the wheel of one of these things and you're gonna get out of it and shake your head and go, nuh-uh, there's no way that car was that much fun to drive. Now this one by all accounts looks to be in spectacular condition. In March of 2018, it previously sold on Bring a Trailer and in preparation for that sale, the current owner of the car at that time did a lot of work to it, like knew everything, batteries and fluids and tires, and then like rebuilt the suspension and all the control arms and bushings, everything on the car went through. Cosmetically, the car and the paint looked to be in spectacular condition. The interior looks beautiful. This is as nice a condition of a Lancia Zagato as you're likely to find. So in March of 2018, our car sold for $44,000. Um, the big question now, because the market is kind of taking a half step backwards, do we think the car will bring similar money? So JP, I know you've never driven one of these things, but do you, do you like the little bubble butt? Does it interest you that it's a V4 front wheel drive? Isn't that kind of mind boggling for 1967? Um, or do you just look at this and go, who cares? <laughs> Go ahead, JP. Yeah, I got to be on the ladder. This thing looks like, uh, you know, an AMC Pacer in a 82 <laughs> Chevy Chevette. True. It's a gremlin. Banged in it's a bathroom. A yeah. <clears throat> it's so ugly. I mean, it, you know, and I guess you're right. Like a 914, 914s are kind of ugly too, but they're super fun to drive. I've never yeah. driven one, not much less. I don't, if, if I've ever seen one, I didn't notice. Um, yeah. Usually when you pick these weird old Italian things, I'm always like in awe. I'm always like, oh, wow, look at that. I don't know anything about that, but damn, that's cool. This does nothing. <laughs> I mean, all the horrible body lines and gaps and like the trim doesn't line up with the, I mean, like I was trying, I was looking at the picture of the door. Let's see if I can get back to uh, the profile. <laughs> look at the, look at the trim on the 
door doesn't line up with the roof. I mean, it's like we're... <sighs> look at that. Look at that. Like, okay, can you guys see the cursor up here? Look, you got the top of the window doesn't conform with the line on the roof. It's like the door is from a different <laughs> car. They're like, can we wedge this in here? I don't know. Why not? Let's just bolt it on. Some Italian guy's like, yeah. That's just... What a hunk of crap. <laughs> it's 55 years old. Yeah, but there's other 55-year-old cars. I mean, you're 55 years old and you look better than this, and that's saying something. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I do. I wish I looked oh, this good. <laughs> look at that thing, man. I mean, oh, your gaps fit, fit better than that. Oh, you got this boy. fender. It's like bloop and then bloop and then bloop. Uh, yeah, no, this oh, looks like... Man. Uh, God. I, I, this is also one of those cars, JP, where you can take the bumpers off and it really looks good. I'm sure that would help, but I mean, you're going to have to... <laughs> I love this thing. They drive so nice. They're rev happy, and you can just rip on them. Uh, this one has a four-speed, which is kind of a bummer, but they upgraded to twin DeLordo uh, carburetors. So the carbs that come on it are single choke. These are twin two barrels, so it probably squeaks out a little, little more horsepower. It's 100 horsepower stock, but again, it's 2,100 pounds. So it's just one of those things where you're like, you can't believe how fun they are to drive. Um, I think this car is going to bring some money. JP... Uh, this car basically closes tomorrow. Uh, it's sitting at twelve thousand seven hundred fifty dollars on seven bids. Um, I think this car is going to do better than it did in twenty eighteen. I this car is going to bring fifty thousand dollars. So I know you're going to bet the under. The question is how much under, so I can put it down and hold you to it. Fifty thousand dollars, real? I mean, I'm shocked this I thing do. brought forty ever. Um, I'm gonna yeah. say, and it's at eighteen now. It's a yeah, it's a gato bodied car that does have some cachet in the Italian car market, but you know, go on. Yeah, I mean, I'll go thirty eight. Thirty eight, right, you know, and, wa but, and watch you whatever. win this one, and I'll be mad as hell. I'm gonna get a Yahtzee on that one. I mean, it's, That'd be honestly, hilarious. I personally wouldn't pay. I mean. Uh, Look, is it worth more than what I... I wouldn't drive this car. I, just, I drive... It's, it's so, so not... I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna what do you one. guys think? Am I uh, off my rocker? Is this car going to be... Uh, is it going to bring all the money? Uh, let us know. Now's the time to put in the comments below what you think <laughs> this car will bring, and we will find out the reality uh, right after we get in our time machine. We'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm super excited to tell you about our sponsor, Guys Customs. That's Guys, G-Y-X, underscore customs. That's how you spell it, Guys Customs bracelets. These things are amazing. Check them out. They're handmade in America, custom bracelets made to match your watch or your car. These things are unbelievable. I have three or four of them myself. My partner, Michael Deeb, has a bunch of them. Uh, they're pretty addictive once you get one. Each one of them are bespoke. We're talking, uh, we're talking carbon fiber. We're talking titanium. We're talking stainless steel glass. There's none of this cheap Chinese garbage that you see a lot of bracelets being made out there. These ones are super high quality. They're made right here in America. When you go to Guys Customs on Instagram. It's about the only place that you can order one of these. Uh, when you DM the artist, you're actually reaching the real artist when you DM Guys Customs at Instagram. Uh, and she will make you a bracelet made to match that special watch that special car or that special person that has a special watch or a special car and they want something really, really cool, uh, in their life. These are the, they make the most amazing gifts. Um, I get compliments on mine all the time. Everywhere I go, people are like, wow, that's really cool. You can see in the pictures, uh, you know, these beads, the, the colored beads, are PTS. They're paint to sample. So if you have a specific color code for your car, she'll have beads made that are specifically painted to match your car or your watch. It's unbelievable. You got to get one of these guys, customs, bracelets, check them out. They support us. Uh, and we really, really, really want to support them. Guys, customs, bracelets. All right, let's get back to the bids. Let's find out how much that car sold for today. Welcome back to the future, everyone. We are here in the future. The future sounds like that. Everyone speaks with a higher octave. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't like Bucky Charms guy? Yeah. 
I still think of uh, the old Conan O'Brien days when they, when, uh, what was it, Andy Richter would be like, in the year 2000, like that was in the future <laughs> somewhere. That's how old we are. Um, that was a big deal. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, so I, I don't know. I'm trying to come up with something interesting to say because I just don't think that this car it's that we're talking about is interesting at all. Um, yeah, not at all. You know, not as so interesting as this Lancia. That's uh, this. This is pretty darn dull. Sorry, people. Uh, how, <laughs> if you stuck around through this episode, thank this you. We do appreciate you. Awesome um, to drive. This. This Vega, I'm what are buy we looking at? Chevy? I'm going to buy you one. All right, All right. Well, listen, our Lancia sold before on online at $44,000. Um, I thought that, you know, car in this good a condition, the market would go up. So I said fifty grand. My partner, who let's just say nicely is pragmatic, said $38,000. And he nearly got a Yahtzee, which just breaks my heart. Wow. John knows the Italian cars better than I do. Our car sold for forty thousand five hundred and seven dollars. He's way closer wow. than I was on thirty bids. JP, it is just worth noting. Uh, it brought ten percent less actual money, and in real money, it, it's like you know, uh, this this probably lost yeah, ten thousand dollars for the yeah. consigner. Yeah, that's crazy. So, uh, anyways, slightly interesting. Look, Lancia, Fulvia, Zagatos are super rare. They're they're. Beautiful cars to some, they're ugly to others. That's a that's a fair take that my partner has. I can totally understand that. Um, but these cars are oh, just, if you ever get the opportunity to drive one, trust me, get behind the wheel and go around the block. You'll absolutely uh, be thrilled that you did. It is very unlike any other that's not like a Fiat or an Alpha or anything else. V4, front wheel drive, high revving. Hold on, hold on. Is that our boy Michael? Is is that Mikey taking a picture of this thing? Is right? this Mikey's car? There is reflection in the mirror there. Mm-hmm. Always be careful of the reflections, people. Always yeah. be careful of the reflections. You don't know what you're going to look like. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. And then <laughs> just if you ever get the chance to drive one, you'll be glad you did. I would suggest that it's in that same realm as driving a 914. Super fun car. Uh, sad result, in my opinion. But, uh, there you go. That's that 40 grand. You get just about the nicest one out there. What big value. I'll leave it at that. Well, I mean, I think the nicest one out there, uh, and then you compare it to like a 914, $40,000 gets you one hell of a 914 as well. And Four cylinder, yeah. Yeah. So what? which one would you rather drive? I mean, I don't know. I think you could probably find a six cylinder one too. Maybe not as nice as the one you got. Um, uh, but uh, wouldn't you rather have a six cylinder 914 versus absolutely. this little goofy thing? Absolutely. And then they do make a hot rod version of this with a 1.6 liter that brings another 20 horsepower or more, um, which would be whiz bang. Now, I don't know that that car is 914 six fast, but still. Yeah even funner to drive so it's just look you know apples and oranges they just they're fun cars from their respective countries um this is just a neat little footnote that you rarely see whereas if you go to cars and coffee you probably run into a 914 uh this is more train spotting this is really rare so anyway yeah i imagine this video will get like four views because no one is searching for this thing uh Uh, i hope so i hope so i hope it gets four views (laughs) maybe maybe six that's uh (laughs) Yeah, the exponential increase in views. Uh, well, thanks, guys. What did you What did you guys guess? Did you guys guess in the comments below? Did you try to play along with us? Did you get closer than I did? I'm shocked that I was that close. That was sheer dumb luck. If I didn't have <laughs> any information from Michael Deeb, I don't know where I would have uh, thrown the dart at the dartboard. But uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely an interesting car. I'll, I'll give it that. I, I, I talked a lot yeah. of ish about that car, but uh, I certainly do want to drive one. It would be pretty fun. Uh, yeah. Let us know what cars you want us to talk about in the future. Is there a car uh, that you've seen on an auction that's coming up that you want us to uh, maybe do a discussion about? Are you selling a car? Would you like us to potentially talk up or even worse? I mean, what happens if you tell us, uh, hey, talk about my car, and, you, and we just poop all over it? That could happen. But, hey, that's a lot of fun, so try it out. Um We will find out uh, what the most interesting car of the day is for tomorrow. Tomorrow! Get the word!